Hey everyone, welcome back. I have not uploaded for quite some time. Life got in the way, work got in the way, but we are back on track and season's greetings. In this video, we are going to learn how to draw an isometric circle using the approximate method. In a previous video, I would have shown you how to draw an isometric circle in AutoCAD using the ISO circle command and that video will be linked in the description below. Okay, so we're going to begin by drawing an isometric box and the sides of the box will all be the same length and their length will be the diameter of the circle. So in this case, I chose a circle with diameter of 1000 millimeters and you'll see that my box has four sides of 1000 millimeters. Now it's an isometric box so there will be vertical lines but what should have been the horizontal lines will actually be drawn at 30 degree angles. Alright so you can see me doing that here and of course you can do this for any circle, whatever the radius or whatever the diameter of your circle is, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, so we have already drawn the box and I did some drawings off camera. I'm just going to explain it to you, right? So what we did was we divided our isometric box into four quadrants. So we have... A middle line running down that's EG that's a vertical line and then we have FH running at a 30 degree angle um, and we connected several points at this point in the video I would advise you to pause the video and note where all the lines are going so we have AG right line AG we have line EC we have line BD, which is a very long diagonal line. And then we have some major points. We have point M and point N. All right, so take note of all these points. Again, as I said, feel free to pause the video and take and take note of the Okay, where so once you've drawn the box are. and you have all the lines and you got to this point, you're pretty much halfway there. So what we're going to do is we're going to use point M as a center. I'm going to draw an arc using the radius as MG or MF is the radius. And then we're going to use point N, N as a no, as another center. You can see me doing that here. And the radius will be NH or the radius could also be N E whichever one so you draw these two arcs and you have you are almost finished drawing your isometric circle as simple as this what you're gonna do now is you're gonna draw the other two arcs so you're gonna use a as our center radius a G and draw an arc connecting G to H and then, as you may have guessed, we're going to use C as our next center and draw arc C, E. Yep, that's C, E. And voila, there you have it. This is your isometric circle. So what we're going to do from here is we're just going to highlight the four arcs and we're going to go to our layer. And um, we're just going to change the layer, set it to the outline so that you can see it more clearly. And this is it. This is your isometric circle. It's one of the easier ways to construct an isometric circle. And as I would have said earlier, you can do it to any radius or diameter. And this circle was drawn on the right um, isoplane for those of us who are familiar with AutoCAD you can also do it on the left isoplane 
or you can do it from the top isoplane. If you learnt anything, please like and subscribe if you haven't already.